400 years ago yesterday, the Mayflower sailed from Plymouth, England, carrying over 100 brave souls looking for new lives in a new world. That group included religious separatists seeking to preserve their religious culture and others who joined them simply coming to the new world looking for better lives. The ship sailed through the heart of the tropical storm season to arrive in New England, north of their intended destination in Northern Virginia and in the month of November. When the passengers realized that they were outside the area covered by their English patent, severe dissension broke out among the group. Some of the passengers threatened to leave the community to strike out on their own. The group leaders realized that their November arrival would simply require the united efforts of everyone on board, and they crafted a remarkable agreement binding everyone on board into what they called a civil body politic. On November 11th, before anyone was allowed to disembark, 41 of the male passengers signed an agreement in which they, quote, solemnly and mutually in the presence of God and of one another covenant and combine ourselves together in a civil body politic for our better ordering and preservation, close quote. That 1620 agreement, which was first called the Mayflower Compact in 1793, was the legal instrument that bound the pilgrims together. We at the Postal Service take great pride in honoring our nation's history, heroes, and heritage through our stamp program. So it's a privilege to celebrate the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower's arrival off the coast of New England in December 1620. The passengers came to be known as the Pilgrims, and their settlement in Plymouth would go on to play a pivotal role in our nation's history. The Pilgrims were different than the earlier settlers in Jamestown, Virginia, which was an economic venture. The Pilgrims were motivated by a desire for religious freedom. They wished to exercise their beliefs away from the intolerance they faced at home. And this would become one of the bedrock principles of America. The Pilgrim's story is also entwined with the story of the Wampanoag, people of the first light, who helped the Pilgrims survive the first year by teaching them how to fertilize their crops and other agricultural techniques. The Pilgrims celebrated their first harvest with the Wampanoag in the fall of 1621, considered by many to be the first Thanksgiving, the annual holiday that we celebrate today in gratitude for life's blessings. The Mayflower and Plymouth Harbor stamp is being issued as a forever stamp, which means it will always be equal in value to the current first class mail, one ounce price. The stamp is available today at post offices nationwide. You can also have them delivered to your home or office by going to usps.com or calling 1-800-STAMP-24. At this time, we're pleased to officially unveil the Mayflower and Plymouth Harbor stamp. Plymouth 400 has been charged with coordinating and producing a fitting commemoration for the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower's landing in 1620. The U.S. postage stamp marking this anniversary is an important milestone in the historic record of this 2020 commemoration. Plymouth 400 extends our gratitude and great respect for the United States Postal Service. Special thanks to everybody involved in making this stamp happen and congratulations.